Hey there, so I want to do a vibrato exercise. This is gonna be nice and slow and controlled motions. We're not gonna do anything very quickly. Um, and this is gonna have to do with using our left hand a lot. So first, I'm not gonna use the bow. I'm just gonna demonstrate the motion. Um, it's gonna be very important that we start holding everything correctly so that we're not down here, our wrist is not like this, we're not all crunched up, that the violin is up and that your wrist is very straight so this is not gonna work and this is not gonna work very straight and that's gonna help us next thing we want our fingers to be nice and curved for the purpose of this demonstration I'm gonna use my second finger um, my middle finger so you can use second or third whichever honestly is more comfortable I would say first usually that's not one of the more comfortable fingers um, so Whatever's, if that's the most comfortable one, use that. But otherwise, I'm gonna use the second. I'd suggest second or third, but let's start with that. All right, so I'm gonna put my second finger on the D string. Again, doesn't really matter which string, whatever's most comfortable for right now. We just want you to be comfortable. Okay, so second finger, or whatever finger, nice and curved on our normal position. So right now, normal position, the string is touching my finger right on the tip of my finger, okay? Have that nice box shaped. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna push the knuckle down so that my finger is flat. But I'm going to let my wrist and my arm move with that motion. So I'm not just gonna squish it down like this and keep everything where it is. I'm gonna squish it down and I'm gonna pull everything back. So now I have a nice slant, everything has moved back and now I'm gonna bring it back up to its standing position. So we're just gonna do that a couple times, but very slow. Back, forward. Now everything moves together. Back, forward. Back, forward. Back, forward. If you can't do that with whatever finger you're using, try a different one. I'll do three now. Same thing, curved knuckle, everything nice and neutral. Pull it back so it's flat, right? So make sure that you're not just flattening the knuckle. You're not just going like this and everything stays in the same spot. You want it to be flat and everything moves back a little bit. If you wanna think about your knuckles as trying to knock on the scroll, everything moves together. Okay, so all together, flat, curved, flat, curved. Let's do that a few more times, flat, curved. Good. One more time. Flat and curved. Good. Now again, we're not sliding on the string. Nothing is moving. The only thing that's happening, my thumb is staying in the same spot. Everything is just moving back together. Right? When you shake someone's hand, you don't just use your fingers or your wrist. You shake their hand and everything moves together. So that's what we're doing here. Moving everything together. Good. Okay. Now when I get the bow, it's going to sound bad when I do it slow, <laughs> but that's fine. So here's our regular note. Now when I push it back, right? It's flat. So we're gonna go back here. And that's it. We're just gonna do that once. Stand it up, hold it normal, and then flatten it out while you're pulling the bow. So again. Good. Again, put it back. Good, so now I'm gonna do that two times in one bow. I'm gonna make it straight, flatten it, Make it straight, flatten it in one bow motion. Again. 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 Good. So I want you to practice that. Make it faster and faster until you can fit four in a bow. 
Right? And then you do eight to a bow, and then we see how it's going. But the most important thing, make sure everything moves together, and you're not going like this, you're not sliding around, violin's not wiggling around like crazy, and that's a good place to start. So work on that, hopefully the vibrato comes along nicely.